Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to this video. And sorry it's been such a long time since I've done a video. Just been really busy with work, family, doing t-ball right now, helping coach that for my son. And, um, you know, I hadn't really got to get out this year, but maybe once every four to six weeks just to run some water through the engine. And when I have gone fishing, it's been relatively slow compared to recent years. Um, this winter, it was kind of tough. Uh, so anyway, um, it's early April. I'm hoping to get out there tomorrow. Uh, my game plan is always kind of have a couple of plans, but the first one is if I can get up early enough and get out there uh, before light, I'm going to have a bucktail tied on, um, also probably a couple different sizes as well, uh, a jerk bait, and then also a bomber. I'm going to try to hit those lights and then some reef poles. And then really my primary tactic and, and approach for tomorrow is taking cut bait out there and going up into the river mouths and see if we can bust a big striper. I'm sure we may catch a catfish or two or something there, but really just trying to get those breeder fish key in on them. Um, it's that time of the year, the masters is going on, the dogwoods are blooming. Uh, so anyways, that's, that's the game plan. Come along with me. Hopefully I can uh, make this a real video and uh, hope you guys enjoy it and uh, learn something from it if I do. And we'll see you out on the water. Cheers. Yummy. All right. Here we go. Here's one of our baits. Cut herring. Okay. All right, guys. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. It's a very, very cold April morning here middle of April almost we're in the river so you can see we're doing something a little different we're cut bait fishing for stripers catfish whatever bites but really want to hope hope that we can catch a couple of stripers we're here in the river today we're going to use a variety of different cut bait so come along with me I'll show you what I'm doing and hopefully we can have some success so you can too here we go it is cold out here <coughs> My feet are freezing, 36 degrees out this morning. And the Masters is going on. What is this? Only in Georgia. It's supposed to be 70 today. It's crazy. This is just a three-way rig. You got your three-way swivel. A two ounce lead right here and then your hook right here so it can kind of go like this off the bottom Three rods out, two with gizzard shad, and one with herring, cut herring. Got a couple pieces on there, so. It's just a matter of time. Start chumming the waters a little bit too. See, always save your bait, guys. You never know when you may need it. So here we're just going to take some cut up pieces of herring and we're going to throw them out over on this side right here. With the way the river's going, it's going to pull all the bait down that way anyways, where my line is. So, man, this spot lock is getting on my nerves a little bit in this river. It's The river's pushing us back and the spot lock's having to readjust. So this happens though, it's, it's not easy to stay still on a river. This piece of cut right out there. Alright, so we got a herring cut and full herring on this one. 
a gizzy on this one, a gizzy on this one, and a trout on this one. Again, all cut bait. All right. Well, I'll get back with you if we get a bite. Uh, what I'm going to do is give this spot a little bit longer, and then we'll move. We'll push further up. Uh, may push further back, and uh, just keep trying. So. Stick with me, I'm gonna make some casts with the artificials. All right, I'm gonna make a few casts while I'm sitting here waiting. Ooh, here we go. That's a striper. There we go, baby. That's a striper. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a nice one, too, dude. He ate the gizzy. Uh oh. Dude, this is a nice fish. God, listen to that drag sing. Okay. God, he's a nice fish. Feels nice at least. I think he's a giant. Yes, sir. Got our leader. Oh. Oh my gosh. Come on, let's get you up front, bud. Let's get you up front. Oh yeah, dude. Look at this. Look at this, baby. Woo! Right there, baby. Right there. Catfishing in the river, boys. Man, that's a beast. That's a beaut, dude. It's a big old girl. Yeah, sir. She is fat. Dad, yum, dude. 
Oh, man, see how much he weighs on the boga real quick. And then we're gonna get her back in this nice, cool water. Oh, yeah, dude. Twenty, right at twenty, right at twenty, dude. Right at twenty pounds, dude. Look at that fish. That is a giant, right there. Make sure we got it on. Yeah, dude. All right, let's get her back in. She's huge. <laughs> giant, like the near pig. Oh. You're ready, huh? She is so fat. There she goes. Look at that beast. <sighs> Guys, I hadn't been out here much at all this year. Fishing's been slow, I've been super busy with family, work, and international shipping. It's been crazy the last two years. And, uh, you know, I've been doing t-ball with my son, help coach there, so really hadn't got to get out here, but guys, this is as simple as it gets. Cut bait here in the river, go up to the river mouths, wherever you want, give it a shot. This time of the year, early, mid-April, you can get a giant. Here we go, son. Just so you're aware, that was on uh, a gizzy. I lopped the tail off of it. But been using that one for a while. Here's my setup. Nothing fancy, guys. Right here, I showed you this in the very beginning of the video. Right here, two ounce sinker, three way swivel, and we got a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader right there to a circle hook. Boom, that's it. That was right here in this hole, right before this bend on the river. Cut baiting, guys. It's as easy as you can get. Fishing 101, like I said, I did this a lot when I was a kid for catfish. I loved it. Um, it's a little slower, but you know, you just anchor up, get your baits out there, put a variety of different baits out there. You see, I got different rigs. I've got some with smaller hooks, some with lighter uh, weights. Others I want to make sure are holding the ground and have a different setup. So just try a different variety of things and uh, you can have success, you know. So. I do a lot of uh, cut bait fishing in the um, rivers in the summertime, and uh, this is uh, just a, another great example of, of how effective it can be at the right times.